Downloading a file from the Power App is a very common requirement these days. But generally, whenever the user click on the button from the Power App, that file open in a new tab. Rather, it should download. Hey everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classy Power App. In this video, we will see how we can download any file from the Power App by clicking any button. In this example, my file would be stored somewhere inside my SharePoint because from the OneDrive, it is somewhere easy. But from the SharePoint, we need to do some work. So let me just take you to my screen. So here I have a SharePoint site. Inside that SharePoint site, I have a document library. Inside my document library, I have a file whose name is Excel template. This file, looks like that it has some table and have some data i want this file to be downloaded whenever the user click any button from the power app so let me just show you how we can create this we'll create a one blank app so create a canvas tab it as as app download download file i'm using layout as tablet only First, I'll show you when it will open the file in the new tab and later I'll show you how we can make that file download in our system. I'm not focusing on more on the UI part, so I'm just more focusing towards the functionality. So what we'll do is simply insert one button and I'll give the name as open. And file i come to my sharepoint and inside this what generally we do we simply go and take the copy link once we get the link we come back to our power app and here we have a function which is launch inside the launch we generally pass the link of the our file Okay, now let's see what happened. If when I, if I click on this button, it opens the file, but in a new tab. So people says, Ki, okay, instead of using the launch, we can use the download function. So let's try it out. Let's use download. Again, go back to the play preview mode and then I get try to click on this same button. Let me just close the previous one. Now, Again, again, even using the download function, it is opening the file into the new tab. So what we need to do in order to download the file into the local system, we'll open one notepad. Let me just show you the logic later you can implement as per your need. Sometimes your file would be created from the Power Automate flow. So this logic works at maximum places. So we come to the SharePoint and what I'll do, I'll simply copy my SharePoint site URL. Okay. I come back here and paste my SharePoint site URL. Then I use one forward slash. Then what is my document library name? So this one is my document library name. I can get this copy again come back control V and then again I'll use one more forward slash then what I'll do I'll simply take the name of this file so how can I get the name control C come back to my notepad let me just expand this one and control V dot xlxx right now let me use this link let me add one more button here okay and now i'll give this name as download file okay i'll come back copy this url come back to this side now same in the launch function 
use a function launch and put my new ur which i created in my notepad where i simply copied the my site url my document library and my file name with with some forward slashes now let's try to play if i now play this file here you can see it has downloaded the file into my local system if i try to open this file it opened to my excel and now i can see so that's how we have downloaded the file to our local system so now let's try one more example if my file is stored somewhere inside folder let's say my file is this particular file i want to download excel template one one so what i'll do in my url i'll simply paste again my site and my document library i have this directly here control v again the forward slash then i'll use my subfolder name how can i get this control c forward slash then again nested one nested one is again my subfolder name sub subfolder name then forward slash and here i have the file so i'll take the name control c come back and control v dot xlxx okay now let's try this one okay come back and here let's put third button and on the this third button i'll come back to my notepad copy it again come back here and put my sub subfolder file now i again go with and first let me just show you what is there in my this file in this i have three rows okay let's close this one come back come to the play mode and then click on the download file again it has downloaded the file for me into my local system if i try to open this file it open the excel application and then i can see the data okay so that's how we can download the file sitting inside of a sharepoint directly from the power app button so that is all in this video everyone i hope you guys like this because i got many messages from my visitors or my viewers that they are unable to download the file instead the file is opening into the new tab okay so even if you are creating any file from the power automate cloud and then you want that particular file to be downloaded into your local system so you can get the name from your power automate cloud only and then try to create the url and then pass that url into your launch function or maybe you can use download function both can work for you okay so thank you all all thanks for watching this video have a nice day bye bye